If I ask you what's a hard programming language, you may think something like C++, Objective-C, Rust, and you'd be right because those are harder to learn programming language due to the reason they were created for and when they were created. However, what if I told you there is a programming language that was specifically designed to be impossible to use and that the author never actually got a single line of this language to work? So I'm referring to a programming language called Malbolge, named after Dante's eighth circle of hell. The official Wikipedia page says the following, Malbolge is a public domain esoteric programming language invented by Ben Olmsted in 1998. And if you're wondering what an esoteric programming language is, it is a programming language designed to test the boundaries of computer programming language design as a proof of concept, as a software art, as a hacking interface to another language, or as a joke, which is a great thing here because that's what this programming language is. And if you want to know what other esoteric programming languages are, then you can look at a very famous one called Brain F and another one called LOL Code. Inspired by LOL Speak, the language expressed in examples of the LOL Cat Internet Meme. So we have programming languages dedicated to internet memes for uh, crying cats or laughing cats. I don't know. If we go back to the Malbosch Wikipedia page, it was specifically designed to be almost impossible to use via a counterintuitive crazy operation, base three arithmetic and self altering code. It builds on the difficulty of earlier challenging esoteric languages, but exaggerates this aspect to an extreme degree, playing on the entangled histories of computer science and encryption. Despite the design, it is possible to write useful Malbolge programs, and definitely not. But this is my favorite part. Malbolge was very difficult to understand when it arrived, taking two years for the first program to appear. The author himself has never written a Malbolge program. The first program was not written by a human being. It was generated by a beam search algorithm designed by Andrew Cook and implemented in Lisp. So all of this just made me very curious about why people would do this. Like, is programming that easy? to really not have anything else to do. So I was able to go and use like the Wayback Machine, the web archives to find the original Malbolge interpreter. I'm not gonna go into this. I think this is C or C plus, uh, C sharp, I'm not, I'm not too sure. But here, this is the interesting part, the comment from Ben. Malbolge is the name of Dante's eighth circuit in hell. This interpreter isn't even Copy left it. I hear a place in the public domain. Have fun with this ellipsis. No, in keeping with the idea that programming in Malvage is meant to be hell, there is no debugger. By the way, the code assumes that short is 16 bits. I haven't seen any case where it isn't, but it might happen. Okay, and then there's this introduction to Malvage article I found. Uh, believe it or not, this amount of people counted in trinary, of course. Of course. <laughs> have so far expressed an interest in programming in Malbolge. Note that if your first impression is that counting visitors in trinary is rather inconvenient, then you are missing the point of Malbolge altogether. <laughs> Look at this. Although the language has been out since 1998, for many years the most complex known programs was Hello World. Which brings me to how you write a Hello World. This program displays Hello World. I tried to download Malbolge and like run this. Like the online interpreters don't even work. Look at this, there's instructions here. I, I'm not even gonna read this. Like no way. Crazy operation for each ternary digit of both inputs, use the following table to get a ternary digit of the result. For example, CRZ, this value gives, okay. I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. Look at this, it could be worse. <laughs> What? That's what they said when they created Rust. Malbosch, although obviously difficult, could be worse. Here are some suggestions for making it even tougher. Redo the instruction permutation table to remove all short cycles. In particular, if every possible cycle for every location contains at least one non no op instruction, then you could even construct a no op that you could rely on. Uh, remove the oversight in the reference interpreter lets the user load non ASCII values directly. Yeah, so really, this is kind of like the be all end all of programming languages. I mean, I have no idea why anybody would even write this. It's for funsies, okay, sure. It's crazy to me that people like to do that stuff for fun, but hey, I'm no one to judge. But I want to share what Malbosch is. I'll flip back to this video where there's like some weird music and named after Dante's eighth circle of hell again. 
it was not written by a human being. Okay, so this summarized Malbaj, the programming language, a melodic tale. I don't think it's melodic. I think it's pretty crazy. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Did you enjoy this? Have you heard of Malbaj before? And uh, if you want, I challenge you to write a line of Malbaj and let me know how it works. But as always, you gotta power it.